Hi, I'm Alan Milkus, Executive Director of the Xenu YMCA. We're here at the REACH Center today to do a quick construction update. Let's go check it out. Here, let me open the door. <laughs> hey, Kim. Hi, Alan. Kim's standing here at our front desk, ready to check our members in. Hey, Alan, you want to come see my fitness center? Sure. Okay, I'm going to go through the door. All right, now we're out behind the desk. In the main hallway. So this is our fitness center. Imagine right now that there's a bunch of treadmills, cardio equipment, ellipticals, recumbent bikes, espresso bikes. Stairmaster step mills. Jacob's ladder. Concept two rowers gonna have it all. This right here, this is a window opening. So right here you'll be able to look out into our lobby and from our lobby you'll be able to look in. So as we go this direction, we're walking through all of the cardio equipment. So rows of cardio equipment, about 50 pieces or so. As we get to about the middle of the room, it's gonna transition to Nautilus equipment, so all of our machine weights that correspond with the active track system. We'll have all brand new strength equipment. So as we go here in the middle, this is all of the Nautilus cabled weightlifting. As we keep moving to the back, this is where all of our free weights will be. All of our bench presses, cable crossovers, dumbbells, you got it. And it's all air conditioned. I just got really excited about air conditioning. <laughs> For those of you that don't know where Kim's office is, it's in the back and it was about 80 degrees today. My office is going to be right there now. As we're standing about here, Kim's walking through a doorway right now. So this door takes you out into our hallway and we're going to keep moving. And Kim, what's on the left? Right here is our group exercise studio. And so we're not gonna be having classes in the gym anymore. It's gonna have its own designated space so you don't have to share with basketball or youth sports. So keep thinking, mirrors on the walls, sound systems, dedicated group exercise space. And it's about the size of half of a gymnasium. Okay, so here we are in our back gym. So you can see where actually they've got the roof decking on in this section and all of the steel beams are up. So this back gym, it will have volleyball standards that you push a button and they come, they fold down off of the roof. The basketball hoops will be fully adjustable to different heights. It'll have a rubberized floor and once again, air conditioning. We'll always be able to have open gym because we have this designated space. So we have a lot more room for activities. There's a doorway from our back gym into our main gym. So we'll step right in that section now. Here we are in our main gym. You can see the decking starting to go up. So this is an oversized gym. It'll have a suspended walking track around the top. You can actually see they've got angle iron they're attaching to the walls there that's gonna be hold the, the floor surface for the track, so that's already started. So one other thing to mention about this uh, main gym here, you can see that doorway right there, so that actually will connect us to the senior center portion of the building. So the senior center on that other side will be just a large eating area, meeting space, where they'll actually be able to overflow into our gym after hours as well. We'll also have pickleball in here. Even our gymnastics and tumbling programs will take place in this gym. We're in the main hallway of the Y, which you can see shoots down that whole way. And this window here looks into the pool. People will be able to sit outside here and watch their kids take swim lessons or grandma do water aerobics. Do people go and watch their grandma's? I have no water idea. Aerobics. Probably not. So as we get going this way, this doorway here, this is our family and special needs locker room. This is like an oversized bathroom with a shower and lockers and you know, moms will be able to bring their kids in here and everybody can change together and then go right out into the pool area. So we can bring little kids 
with opposite gendered parents in here so they don't have to come through the big locker room. Exactly what it's for. It's also for uh, individuals with special needs that have to bring um, an assistant that has to help them change or help them get access to the facility. They can change in here and move on to where they gotta go. And then just imagine we're in a nice big six lane pool that's 25 yards long instead of 20 and you can just swim. There will always be dedicated lap lanes, right? Yes, there will be. Also up at the front, closer to where the windows are, we'll have a second pool. It'll be a warm water therapy pool. So the temperature of that pool will be kept in the 90s while our competition pool will be kept 83 to 84, somewhere in there. You got the door? Sure. It opened the right way. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. We're out here in the parking lot. We're gonna have 326 parking spaces. All of them will be lined and it'll be paved. It won't be a gravel lot anymore. We'll also have lights and security cameras out here and plenty of handicap parking as well. If you look this way, that's where all of our game fields will be. There will also be an outdoor track that you'll be able to come to the Y and walk and run on outside if you get bored on treadmills. It's gonna be huge! <laughs> <laughs>